Hello everyone, BF Viking here, and today is another episode of Saturday Sniping, the series where I review the Chosen Sniper, and for this week's episode, it was by request for me to review the Guerrero 98 Sniper. Now, personally, I love this sniper rifle. It's the one you'll always see me playing with, and the one that I will always be using. Unlike the Russian 1895, which is a light-hitting sniper rifle, this rifle is the exact opposite. Very high damage, high bullet speed, which both snipers have in common, and a very large sweet spot, which for me is perfect, and I'll explain why later in the video. So this gun was designed by the German army in 1898. It used a stripper clip, which is loaded by the breech of the rifle, which means you don't have to carry around loads of spare magazines. The Guerrero 98 shot a 7.62 round, which is what the common day AK-47 and Scar H fires. A very big round, which can pierce its way through concrete without a problem. This rifle was designed for shooting of up to 2,000 yards, which is very impractical, but was mainly used up to 400 yards, seeing that that's how far the enemy trench would usually be. It was used by over four different nations in World War I and World War II, and it can be still be found in gun shops today. So now that we know a bit about this rifle in real life, let's take a look at it in-game. As normal, we have three variants of this sniper, the infantry, the marksman, and the sniper. Now, the marksman variants only differ by the scope it has, which can only be magnified up to times 4 zoom, but the infantry has only iron sights, which I must say are probably the worst iron sights in the game, but other than that, there are no changes stats-wise. Okay, so how about we look at the stats of this weapon and see what it's good for. First off, it has a 5 round magazine size, which is fairly normal for a sniper rifle, a muzzle velocity of 880 meters a second, which is on the high side of the sniper rifles, and then we have a fire rate of 50 rounds a minute, and a reload speed of 1.25, which isn't too bad, and that is on an empty mag, and not empty is only 0.5 seconds. So now, for the Guerrero 98 sweet spot. It begins at 50 meters and ends at 150 meters, now this is why I was saying I love this sniper because this is usually the distance I am shooting around when I'm sniping. I personally never really go extreme long range but more kind of aggressive recon or aggressive scouts. This is why I use this sniper and its bullet speed and bullet drop is insanely good. Shooting out at 200 meter targets you barely have to aim above their head and there's hardly any bullet lead at long range. So when you are outside of the sweet spot you'll still be doing 80 damage minimum. So I think it's safe to say that this gun is the M98B of Battlefield 1. Very fast bullet travel, minimum bullet drop, and extreme good damage at all ranges. So everybody, there we have it for this week's episode of Saturday Sniping. So make sure to give the Grand 98 a go. It's in my opinion one of the, if not the best sniper rifle in the game. Now I would say the Martini Henry is, but you can't even mount a, a sniper scope or not even a marksman sight or not even an optical sight so that's why I don't really like it at all and it's bullet drop off is god awful but anyways guys if you enjoyed make sure to leave me a like on the video and subscribe for daily battlefield videos hope you're having an awesome day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next battlefield video